Hi there, my name is Derek, I'm with Kiefer Connection. Today we're gonna be showing you how to make water kefir. Water kefir is a natural probiotic beverage. It's a great soda replacement, it's extremely healthy. Uh, check the website Kiefer Connection for more about the health benefits of water kefir. I have a bottle of already made water kefir that's a couple days old. Um, just to show you the natural carbonation, if I open it, that natural carbonation is what we're gonna be making with these kefir grains today. Um, so what we'll do to start out with is you should have, if you're watching this video, started the process of making water kefir and this is everything you're going to need. You're going to need some organic sugar, a flavoring for your second ferment. You'll need a first ferment of water kefir with activated kefir grains. You'll need some distilled water um, or just water without chlorine in it and I'll show you what that is. Um, a, a strainer, two funnels, one large, one small, a basin, and then some bottles, uh, some flip top bottles to put your kefir in. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take our kefir, which we have that is activated. This is our first ferment, which has been sitting in this sugar water for about 48 to 72 hours. And as you see, as I pour it into this basin, the kefir grains are coming out into the strainer and the activated kefir water is falling into the basin. Beautiful. Okay. We'll take these activated kefir grains, drain that water out, and we'll just set these aside. The first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to refill this and put more sugar into this, into this uh, glass jar for our kefir grains to start another first ferment. The water that I'm pouring in is actually just tap water. I filled it up about two days ago when I did this process last time and I just left it in this milk jar with a cloth over the top, like this. And what that does is it allows the chlorine to evaporate out and this becomes uh, the kind of water that your kefir like to, to be in. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just put this small strainer in and I have a cup of organic cane sugar that I buy at Costco. And we're just gonna let that fill up to this water. What we'll do now is take this um, flavoring, I use grape juice. I just use this Welch's grape juice, frozen grape juice concentrate. And we're gonna pour this into our kefir water that is active. And we'll just give that a stir. This is what we'll be putting into our flip top bottles. Now that that's in, we're just going to give this a shake. Now that the sugar is fully dissolved into this water, and it's important that it is fully dissolved before you add your kefir grains, we can go ahead and add our grains back in using our large funnel. I have a lot of grains because they do reproduce and multiply. So, I'm actually gonna save some and show you what to do with those in a separate video. The next thing that we will do is place a cloth over the top of our sugar water with the activated grains. And we actually just set this aside in a dark uh, place in your home for the next uh, you know, 36 hours, 48 hours, to 72 hours, depending on the temperature of your home. Finally, 
we will use this flavored kefir water and fill up these, oops, fill up these flip top bottles. Too much. And that is the process for making water kefir. What you'll do is you'll put these in another cool place um, in your home, just a, a place that you can store. They like it to be dark. Um, so if you can store it in a dark place for three, four days, um, they're good up until about 14 days. The longer that you store them, the more carbonated they become. Um, and the more carbonated they become, the more you have to burp them to let that carbonation out. So uh, daily you might come in and just you know, let the carbonation out like this. Oops. Burp the bottle and then it will be ready to, to drink later. That's kefir for you, thank you.